Welcome back to the channel, Chiefs Kingdom. We've got some major updates today as Kansas City makes some key roster decisions ahead of the 53-man roster deadline. Big names are on the move, and it's shaking up the depth chart in a big way. Let's dive right into the latest. First up, the Chiefs have officially trimmed their roster, and one name that made the cut is running back slash fullback Carson Steele. NFL insider Tom Pelissero confirmed that Steele is on the initial 53-man roster. His preseason performance has been impressive, averaging over 7.9 yards per carry. That versatility on special teams and solid blocking skills proved too valuable for the team to overlook. This is a huge win for Steele and shows the Chiefs are looking to maximize their talents wherever they can. But it's not all good news. The Chiefs have made some surprising cuts, starting with former first-round wide receiver Kadarius Toney. Despite the team's efforts to trade him, they couldn't find a partner, leaving Toney to test the waiver market. A big blow for a player who was expected to be a key contributor. Another notable cut is wide receiver Justin Ross. Reports indicate that Ross struggled to grasp the playbook and simply couldn't compete in a crowded receiver room. This departure adds to the list of moves the Chiefs are making to tighten up their roster. The cuts didn't stop there, folks. Veteran tight end Irv Smith Jr. has also been released. Plus, former rugby star Lewis Reddick is out as well. Those are some significant moves as they show the Chiefs are serious about refining their roster ahead of the season. And what about undrafted running back Daenerys Prince? Many thought he had a shot at making the team but it seems he was outshined by Steele during the preseason. However, there's still a chance he could return to the practice squad if he clears waivers. As we can see with the Chiefs finalizing their roster, these moves highlight just how competitive the depth chart is, especially in the wide receiver and running back rooms. This opens up exciting opportunities for players like SKYY Moore. With less competition, he could see a bigger role not just on a fence, but on special teams too. Now that we've covered the big moves, I want to hear from you, Chiefs Kingdom. What do you think about these roster decisions? Were there any surprises for you? Drop a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Your opinions matter, and we love engaging with you. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these updates, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. Your support really helps the channel grow and keeps you in the loop with all things Chiefs. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to monitor who stays and who goes. Until next time, let's go Chiefs!